Hello everybody and welcome back to Battletech. In the last episode we finished off another one of our uh, missions that we're taking in this kind of ass end of nowhere space to try and uh, level up some of our new recruits and give ourselves some uh, breathing room as a lot of our A-team recovers. Uh, and also get over the fact that we lost Behemoth, one of our longest serving mech warriors. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're doing a mission where we have to recover operatives from the local government, from a Turian research facility, and then get them to an evac point, which is over here somewhere, I think. Uh, they have biological sample cases, is what we know, so whatever that means. So we're going to sprint up ahead with the, uh, with the Jenner. Copy that. Who has our Kickstarter backer, uh, Jester, in it. Border received. We're also using the dragon for the first time. We'll go. So the dragon is a heavy mech, if I recall, and high towers in it. No contacts yet. Probably going to be somewhere around here in the uh, research facility. Contact well, we vehicle. So that's the drop-off point, I think, right? Secure the secondary facility to rescue operatives. Oh, okay, so we have to... Re okay, so we have two objectives. All right. Position confirmed. Let's move up. Roger that. Shadowhawk's actually a little slower than the dragon, but the dragon's supposed to be a fast heavy. So it's keeping Don't pace. Retreat. Okay. Standing by. I need you to move over here. Locking in coordinate. See what you see. Nothing. Need you to sensor lock this guy or this guy. I want you to sensor lock this one. What do we got? Got a sensor lock. It's an LRM carrier right there. Oh, got a mech. Salvage on the field. Got a lock on me. Okay, and they locked onto the Jenner. We got another mech over here, so we got mechs on the right. Standing by. All right, why don't you move over to the right? On the move. Definitely do need to optimize the Shadowhawks weapons. And let's hit him with an LRM5. Firing on target. Little damage, not nothing big. And Wasp you. is in the Griffin. I want you to move up here. Got it. Griffin is the uh quick medium that we have. Hit him with an LRM-10. Yeah. Still up. This is going to be an LRM carrier, I can guarantee it. Yep, looks like it. Okay, Hightower in the Dragoon. You move up, you've got LRM-10s. A LRM-10. So move up with the dragon. That's a striker. This has got LRM-20, so we're going to target this and fire. So, another vehicle over here. It's another striker. Sensor locked the dragon. Arm carrier's moving out. Targeting the dragon. Let's... 
That was a good hit. Heavy damage. Yeah, yeah, we got you. And you're targeting the Jenner. Jenner's still up. Okay. What do we do now? Orders. Move over here, get a shot on the striker. Move over there. Taking out the striker from the side could be an option. The LRM carriers are the bigger threat, so give me a sensor lock on this one. Sensors locked on. Here come the mechs. Four mechs and some vehicles. Minor hits. Reporting. Minimal damage. They're in a position where they're light mechs in terms of their like initiative order. Okay, locked onto the Jenner. There's a locust. Machine guns and a one laser. Okay. Awaiting orders. I need the Shadowhawk to move up and directly target that uh, that locust. Or it could hit the LRM carrier. If we hit the LRM carrier, no, it's a precision strike the locust. No, just target the locust. Yeah, target the locust. Try and hit him. Firing all weapons. Oh, that's a hit. It was a decent hit, actually. I didn't think we'd hit anything. Uh, Commander? Uh, yeah. Okay, move up directly. Location confirmed. I'm a mech warrior, don't you know? Spider, locust. Panther's the big threat over there. Uh, okay. Targeting the LRM carrier. Don't need, actually... Yeah, we're doing both. Just in case. Just in case he's... If I could, I'd split the fire, but... 80% per... Anything we're targeting from the side. Okay. Without the PPC. Fire the LRMs. Affirmative. Okay, it's down. That's a major damage dealer Report right there, gone. Vehicle destroyed. Okay, so we have some vehicles in the backfield here, strikers with LRM fives and a SRM two. Structure exposed on the Jenner. Jenner's job will be to take out the uh, strikers over here. Ready for orders. Or do we make him the guy that takes him on? No, we're gonna move up here and aye, hit aye. that hit that locust with our major weapons. Precision strike the locust? Is that a good shot? It's a better shot. CT, kill. Acknowledged. He's gone. Give him everything you've got. Target neutralized. So that's one down. There's another striker in the back. Jenner's job is going to be take out those. I've been sensor locked. You've been sensor locked? Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Manticore's a problem. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Yeah, the vehicles are a bitch to deal with. 
Aye, aye. Yeah, if we move over here. Yeah, it's better if we move over there. We're away from the lights. Confirm. Move over here. Take a shot on this striker. Shoot. I copy. Okay, it's gone. Good, good. Vehicle trash. There's a panther. Another shot on the griffin. It's unsteady. Here comes the locust. One of the locusts. There's a spider in the back as well. Yeah. Griffin's out there alone. We're gonna have to... Major armor loss. Oh, that locust's got... I didn't even notice it has missiles. That's a... That's an odd one. I don't know that locust design. Okay, that's structure exposed on the on the Griffin now. Are taken a beaten. Oh, are your internals taken a beaten? Aye, aye. Okay, move up with the Shadow Hawk. On my way. All right, could hit him. Him. He's got a shitload of armor. Him. Or him. Precision strike on the Panther. CT. Fire. Confirmed. Okay, he's open. Yeah, Commander. Okay, if we move, if we jump back over here, yeah, jump back over there. Just the PPC. Target that panther. What do you got? A PPC. Yeah, you're gonna be a bitch to deal with. Hopefully, the Shadow Hawk will be able to melee you. You're nothing. You're basically nothing. You're the big problem. So precision strike on the panther. I want to knock out your PPC. So fire. All weapons are gone. Okay, that's gone. He's got a medium laser now. Here comes this vehicle up here. Got a lock on me. Sensor lock to that guy. Good to go. All right, Dragon. I want you to move up. On my way. Let's see here. What are we going to target? Could knock out the Panther. Locust. You or you. We've got a good chance of knocking out the panther, so we're going to do that. Just knock out another one of their turns. Targeting for an alpha strike. That was a bad shot. Okay, there goes a vehicle. It's targeting the Jenner, I'm assuming. Nope, the dragon. Okay. Yes, Commander. It's you. Get right up there. Move knock out. out that fucking vehicle on the top hill. Striker. Yeah, and it's in the rear arc. Fire. Taking the shot. Are you kidding me? You had 80% chances to hit on all of those. Rough terrain on the locust. 
How did you miss the dragon? Light damage, Commander. Somewhat embarrassing for you. Here comes the spider. Dragon's still doing okay. It's it's a it's a heavy. Warning, major armor loss. Okay. Commander. Shadowhawk or the wasp. Or or the wasp wasp. If we jump you over here. Got a decent shot. Jump you over there. Nope. Right there? Ooh. Yeah, that's good. Affirmative. Jump you over there. And I want you to target... Panther? Spider, that, that, or the striker. If we hit the striker, we could kill it, which would open up the Jenner for its next move. We'll do that. Target confirmed. Not dead. Yes, Commander. That sucks. You've still got plenty of armor. So why don't you target that guy, that guy, that guy, or him? Uh, why don't you target him and kill him? Targeting for an alpha strike. He's dead. The panther's gone. Hustle eliminated. Now the striker's taking cover and uh, sensor locked the griffin. Commander. Uh, you're better off, I think coming out this way. Location confirmed. You're in the optimal range, and I want you to hit that spider. Hey, I'll just give it a shot. Miss with the AC. Ooh. Decent hit on the spider, actually. And Manticore. Hit the Shadowhawk. Losing armor. Yeah, we know, we know. Ready for orders. Okay, go ahead and just melee this vehicle down. Engaging. All right. Let's go. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. So now it's their lights. Got the spider and the locust. What are they gonna do? Are they gonna target my Jenner? Nope, I'm targeting the dragon. Still has armor. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. And what's the spider gonna do? Oh, it's gonna make a it's gonna make a death from above. Ooh, shit. On the Jenner. Where's all my armor? It's gone, buddy. It's gone. It's a smart move by the spider, actually. Just to double check. Yeah, lost its CT. Uh, should be able to alpha strike the spider, though, and that should, like, kill it. Uh, but... Order. Wasp, I want you to... Come up over there. Location confirmed. Target that, uh... Not the Manticore. I want you to target... Whew. Yeah, maybe target that spider. Manticore... Yeah, target that spider. That's a hit. Target's taken a critical hit. Yes, well, the man. target's been hit, don't you know? Uh, alright... 
Yeah, this should be Prepping good. Move up there. Not him. Not him. Ah, <laughs> uh, hit the locust. Uh, better shot on the manticore, actually. So we'll do that. So we, we hit something, at least. Orders. Okay, move up over here. Three armor left on his right torso. Could hit him. Him. Or him. Hit him. Taking the shot. Okay, he's down. That's Killer of deal. light. I think I got like 50 light kills or something. Alright, Manticore, what the fuck are you gonna do? No, please don't. There goes a medium laser. I'm getting real banged up here. And you're knocked down. Shit. I'm gonna need a medic. Barely hit, Commander. Oh, he spread that out a lot. Light damage. Holding firm. Manticore's just been a bitch to deal with. Oh, no, 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 no. Still fine. Reporting. Internal damage. Okay. Waiting for orders. Let's stand you up. Uh, all right. I'm back in the game. 90% chance to hit. And give it a shot. Hey, one shot, one kill. Target eliminated. Whew, okay, he's standing. Standing by. Okay, go and melee that. Kill this stupid tank. Alright. Move her down. Alright. Move you up over there. Move you over here. In the right area, hold position until samples get aboard. Move order received. Okay, we'll move up over here. I think that was everything, but we'll we'll just hold for a second. We have the asset, Commander. Okay. Move order received. Move up with these guys. Get that second. Get those operatives. Moving to position. So apparently, probably we were supposed to deal with one of those at a time. But uh, we dealt with it, so that's fine. Uh, Wasp, why don't you move up? Coordinates received. And you guys move up. Hopefully we get some bonuses for this. We have the secondary asset, Commander. The area has been cleared. Darius has given me the green light to land immediately. Hold position. Nice. All right. Well, we got uh, we got one person's going to be out for at least one uh, injury increment uh, and some repairs to do on the Jenner. Payment increased by thirty percent. So I mean, it wasn't a lot, but still, that's something. Cool. Uh, next. Yeah, 22 days for you. Jenner's going to need some work up, and the Griffin's going to need some work up, but that was pretty good. Next. 
And now we have our salvage. So we get a locust. Uh, let's see here. We need some... Ooh, we'll take the LRM-20s. What else we got here? Everything else is pretty not useful. So we'll take all three LRM-20s because those are worth something. And I haven't seen those uh, for a while. So we're going to take that, probably put that on the trebuchet. Confirm. LRM 20s, LRM 10s, LRM 5s, medium lasers, MG, SRM 6s, jump jets, LRM ammo, SRM ammo. Nice. All right, continue. I think we just got a locust as well, which we'll sell. We don't really need a locust. That's kind of the thing. I think that'll be the last contract for this area, and then there's a mobile contract we can take. Uh, which on the way there, we should be able to get enough money, or we should be able to have most of our A-team back up. That mech you wanted is back on okay, the Locust 1M model is interesting in that it can turn out a decent volley of LRMs for such a small mech. It's a great harasser, especially uh, if you can use its speed to lob missiles into the weaker rear armor of targets, but it's normally almost, uh, but it normally has almost no armor itself. Temporary improvements. Yang arrives in the morning briefing in a foul mood. Commander, if one more pilot shows up to complain that their favorite mech isn't ready, I'm going to pitch uh, somebody out in airlock. Darius intervenes. How about we draft some of them to actually help? It might be educational for them uh, and useful for you. Dr. Murad is in deep thought. The Yargo is a very powerful system that, can, that are currently offline. If we can get them working, even if only temporarily, it might help with the current workload. So draft some pilots to help. Uh, Argo power uh, repaired power conduits temporarily hook up the automated systems uh, temporarily hook up the refit harnesses uh, let's temporarily hook up the automation systems that's plus two tech points for 14 days uh, Yang is excited about Dr. Murad's assistance uh, than, uh, more excited than babysitting some reluctantly draft mech jockeys later that week uh, Farah uh, checks in with an update commander. These Star League era systems are amazing but challenging. The automation system is partially online now, maybe for a couple of weeks. Uh, checking some calculations on her uh, ubiquitous uh, data pads. Uh, her, she arches her brow. If you can spare the C-bills, I'd like to spend uh, the time to make it this improvement permanent. The work on the power conduits uh, was all the prep we needed to do. I'm ready when you are. Uh, so plus two tech points. So that'll increase our uh, turnout of our mechs. That's good. So we're making 10 a day now. So that's 14 days. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, let's go to the bays and just get everything working. Let's get the Jenner repaired. Yes. And let's get the Griffin up and running. Yes. And then let's go to this guy here, the trebuchet. Trebuchet! What do we got here? Nothing in there. Repair all this stuff right over here, all this stuff, all this stuff. Let's get here two medium lasers in this hand. How many more medium? We got 13, so we're good. Uh, and this one is an LRM-15 that we got there. Well, we do have an LRM-20, so we've got that. Two tons overweight. But if we drop the LRM-15 and put an LRM-10 in there, we've got the same amount. And we lose less if we lose the arm. And let's repair the head as well. I think that's pretty good. We'll have far less. I mean, the ammunition supply will, will run out pretty quick. But still, that's fairly good. So yeah, let's confirm that. Confirm. That'll take 20 days. Right. I'll get it All right, let's manage the tasks as well. I want the Jenner and the Griffin. Griffin first, then we'll do that. Yeah. So we'll get most of the way through the Centurion before the 14-day uh, mech tech uh, increase finishes. So that's good. And Wolfman will be back out in 12 days. Glitch will be out in 13. 22 days for Jester and still 56 for me. But that's pretty good. Let's go to our contracts. See what we've got here. And yeah, we got two out of system ones. We've got Holovid Propaganda. As part of the prop as part of a as part of a propaganda effort, uh, we've been operating a secret Holovid broadcasting facility on Sacramonte. 
Sacro Monte? Yeah. Uh, the clearest sign that our efforts are working is that the local government agents have spent much ser months searching for the facility. Unfortunately, they succeeded and are launching an assault on what they believe to be an undefended installation. While our personnel prepare for evacuation and destroy all the files and documents, we need a team of mercenaries to hold off local forces. Even though the planetary government supposedly believes the facility is undefended, I'm expecting a stand-up fight, Commander. Hmm. That's an option. Then we have this one here. Same planet. A friend of our organization has been accused by the planetary government of illegal activities. While under this accusation, she's unable to perform her duties for uh, Capellan leadership. Uh, evidence to be used in an upcoming hearing is being transported to a spaceport for safekeeping off planet. Your team is to intercept this convoy and destroy it. Commander, the local nets are full of news about this hearing. This job is higher profile than our usual work. It's your call, though. We don't have to take the job. Another mercenary company will. It's two skull mission. Ambush the convoy. Decent payout. Yeah, I think we could probably go ahead and do that. Yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, it's 24 days to get there. So let's go ahead and negotiate. Six, 674k. Um, hmm. Go ahead for that, and then get a little bit of rep bonus with these guys because we don't need really, we really don't need the uh, the salvage. We just need some money, especially since I think we're going to incur a. It's 24 days, so yeah, we'll be paying out some money. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and move to this contract. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. Oh. Only most of us will be back in action as well. Once we get these guys leveled up and we do some of these lower tier missions, we'll start getting some, uh... Start getting some nice, uh like higher uh, paying out missions we'll be able to do. I mean, this one itself will be able to pay for a month and a quarter or, uh, or something close to that in terms of our monthly expenses. Yeah, Wolfman will be back in and the Centurion. New Holovids. The Argo's current budget includes the line item for the crew entertainment. So after polling the morning briefing for preferences, Darius places an order. Okay. We don't have enough upgraded lounge. There's always like an argument, so hold the mass viewing in the mess. Circulate the hollow vid chips among the crew. Eh, yeah, circulate them among the crew. Oh, high spirits for Riptide. Uh, the new hollow vid chips prove so enjoyable that the crew voluntarily sets up a wait list as an alternative to crowding in front of the tiny barrack view screens. Uh, later in the week, Riptide finds you in the mess. Commander, thanks for all the new hollow vids. I can't get, uh, I just can't get enough of the new, uh, I can't get enough of, uh, minor major. I swear the writers have a listening device aboard the Argo. It's uncanny. Minor major. An irrelevant comedy, minor major follows a band of mercenaries who confirm the worst cliches of the profession, are motivated solely by money, and have a flexible loyalty by the employer of the week. Despite the show's ham-fisted acting and lazy special effects, viewing parties are held regularly on military bases and in mercenary barracks. Oh, that's that's nice. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. I wonder if that's an actual thing that's canon, like, or if it's a... Uh, or if that's something that the game devs put in there. Either way, it's, it's good. And Jester's back in, so that's good. Ready Financial go reports do... Yep, yep. Keep going. All right. One more day. Here we are. A planet without an atmosphere. Okay, not yet for this one. Because we're at the end of this episode. Actually, we're a little bit over, but I wanted to get the next contract going. Uh, so thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below and so hit that like button. If you want to help support the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button, as well as taking a look at the description down below, where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!